So uh, now that we know a little bit more about set theory, let's talk about set notation. So uh, there are a few symbols that you should be familiar with if we're going to talk about sets. And these symbols are uh, the following. So you need to know this one over here. This is the symbol belongs to. Or uh, you can uh, think of it as um, is an element of, right? So if I say, for example, here's your set, um, here's, let's give, uh, let's get a set. Let's take this set over here. Let's take negative 1, 5, 10, 12, minus 4. So let's just say this is some random set that I, I invented, and it's got these elements, negative 1, 5, 10, 12 and negative 4 and let's call this set let's name it set uh, capital S so uh, if I said uh, you've got this element and I tell you the element is the element negative 1 and we know that we can say negative 1 belongs to the set S uh, the other another uh, sign you should be familiar with is the sign uh, does not belong does not belong uh, or is not an element of. And so what you can say is, for, for example, uh, negative 2 does not belong to the set S. Right. So if we go to the set S up here uh, and we look for the element negative 2, well, we don't find it. So it's not uh, part of S. Uh, negative 2 does not belong to S. Uh, let's say we have another set over here, and we have the set uh, 5 and 10. We'll call this set uh, S2. So uh, another symbol you should be familiar with is uh, contained. So this is the symbol uh, contains, or is contained. Uh, and the way we use this is, for example, the set uh, 510, which is the S2, it's contained, um, it's contained in set S. So what does that mean? Is we can find every element from S2, that's 5 and 10. All these elements are found also in set S. Uh, and uh, here they are. We have 5 and 5, 10 and 10. So all the elements of S2 are in S. So this means S2 is contained in set S. Um, and finally, the symbol not contained looks like this. And so if I have, for example, the set uh, minus 5, minus 6, minus 1, minus 4, and we call this set S3. Well, uh, we do have minus 1 and minus 4 in set S, but because minus 5, minus 6, and minus, sorry, minus 5 and minus 6 are not in set S, then S3 is not contained in S, because not all of the elements in S3 are also in S.